Well, families have been dealing with sparse shelves in pharmacies for a while. We've talked about supplies of over-the-counter medicine. That, that was the first sticking point, right? Uh, but now prescribed medications are becoming harder to find. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield sorts it all out for us. Colin, this, uh, understand this has been going on for months now. Yeah, and it's really not let up. It's gotten worse. And since we've seen the start of the flu and cold season, things have definitely gone the wrong way for us. A local pharmacist here in Charlotte says he's doing what he can to get ADHD medicines and antivirals to those that need them, all while the supply and demand still seems to be off. This has been the most challenging season I've ever had with just getting medications in stock. Bare shelves spelling bad news for anyone looking to find over-the-counter medicines like Tylenol or ibuprofen for months. And things are still tight. Oakhurst pharmacy owner and pharmacist Greg Deese says it's now two other types of drugs, antibiotics like amoxicillin and ADHD medications. Again, back to children. Amoxicillin, Augmentin, uh, uh, Ceftonir, those are all antibiotics that for the most part, kids get. D says it's hit or miss every day with brand names showing up in stock. It's the generic medicines that cost less and are nowhere to be found. So I'll go days without getting them. So like this morning, I got in a few bottles of some things. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to get in some more because I kind of can sort of see what's probably coming. During this triple demic of COVID, RSV and flu, it's taken a toll on supply as demand has skyrocketed, strapping patients with the extra cost. D says he's looked for ways around this for months. Sundays, I'll go to order product from home on a Sunday because for the most part, pharmacies are closed, independents are closed on Sundays. Even the chains have shorter hours. People aren't getting, they're not seeing doctors on Sundays and I won't be able to order an uh, individual product today, but tomorrow there's tons of it. While some prescriptions allow him to adjust the dosage, D says insurance companies start to get prickly about what they'll cover and what they won't, which adds extra out-of-pocket costs. A lot of our raw materials for medications, both front-end pharmacy, come from China or India. Of course, China right now, we're in an interesting time, I think, with China. So D says in his 40 years as a pharmacist, he can't recall supply being this bad. The advice here is that if you can't find the medication you're looking for, try to call around if you can. Colin Mayfield for WCNC Charlotte. Mm -hmm.